Hello everybody, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. This uh, session is not going to be very long. In fact, um, the only reason we, I'm doing this is because I have yet to finish Pokemon Crystal, at least for the first part of it. So, as you can see, I'm at the Elite Four. I'm here in uh, Evergrande City, or whatever this is. Indigo Plateau. Um, so anyway, um, I, I have been wanting to play Pokemon Platinum for about a month, and um, I can't play Pokemon Platinum because I never really did finish Crystal. Now, now Pokemon Crystal kind of has two parts to the game. They have, they have the Johto side, which is like the main like area for Pokemon Silver, Crystal, and Gold, and then you, and then you could also go into Kano. So I'm actually gonna turn up the music a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be completing the Poke- I'm going to be doing the Elite Four, and then I'm going to go to Kano. As soon as I get to Viridian City, I'm going to stop. And the next time I pick this game up will probably be after I complete Pokemon Platinum. So the plan right now is to finish this little bit, beat the Elite Four, get to Viridian City, stop, play Pokemon Platinum, and then, and then play this again after I get done with Platinum. Uh, and then after Pokemon, Pl and then after I do this, then maybe we'll go off into Pokemon White and Black or something like that. So yeah, um, <coughs> I've been uh, training my Pokemon up a little bit from last time. Uh, I pretty much made it to where Arcanine can one-shot the uh, first two guys. And <coughs> wow, we only have Hyper Potions here. What the fuck? I can only afford three of these. Yep, that's fine, I guess. I have no money. That's okay. I honestly don't expect to, uh... I honestly don't expect to do well. Or to, to win this first go-round. My purpose is to, uh, like, just kind of train my Pokemon as I go. So I have no idea how long this is gonna go. I'm also taking Gyarados with me because he's got decent, like, stats. And I think that's it. I don't really know what else to to do so here we go so I can one shot Will and Koga with just Arcanine so I and I actually um, when I was still tr when I was still training Arcanine I went ahead and went well let's see how far I can get with him on the third and uh, I defeated two of Bruno's Pokemon before he eventually beat Arcanine so that's not bad now I've got a full squad I should have bought revives, if anything. That's okay. Like I said, this is probably going to take me a couple of tries, so... But I can pretty much almost one-shot. And, um, Arcanine's going to level up at least a couple of more times anyway, so... It's not going to matter. Gone. See you later. My whole purpose, so before, so way back when I originally was recording this, um, before I corrupted my save file from the first go around, Arcanine was already like one shotting people, so I'm not like. Um, actually. Uh, no, I'm gonna be conservative. Uh, I was gonna send out Jolteon so that Jolteon could get some experience, but I'm just like, no, I. Like the. The more I could just one-shot people with Arcanine, the easier my job is. I don't want to send Jolteon out there for him to get wrecked. There you go. And just like that, Arcanine's 51. Arcanine is definitely my strongest Pokemon for sure. Nope. Yep. So yeah, I want to record. I want to record this small session. And then I'm gonna jump right into platinum. No! Don't use psychic. <gasps> he flinched. No! That's okay. Now I get to double attack.
I've always noticed that whenever, like, we use potions, if they get hit again by the same move, like, the potion, like, it does more damage. It's like the potion needs a turn or two to kick in. Jinx? No. Now, I could use Ember. I could use Ember on Jinx. Because it's, uh, she's an ice. And the other thing is Ember does, yeah, see, Ember doesn't do as much as Bite does. Uh, I definitely do think uh, that my Hyper Potions and my Max Potions are probably going to go towards Arcanine, uh, Vileplume, and probably Throligator. If I can go into the Champion with Arcanine, Throligator, and Vileplume as, like, fully three healed, I might have a chance. It's going to be real difficult. Like I said, I don't expect to win this first go-round, but if I can, you know, get to at least the fourth person without, like, a fatality, I should be okay. Alright, that's the end of Will. I, I can't believe him. Can I back out and get some revives? <laughs> the true ferocity of the Elite Four. So, I'm not gonna... Now, you may be thinking... <clears throat> so, what I would do want to do is... I know I've got... Um... What? I know I've got, uh... Like, full restores and hyper potions and stuff like that, but I want to save them. Um... I'm going to see... I don't have any revives. I cannot let... <clears throat> I cannot let, uh... I cannot let, uh, uh, Arcanine faint. If Arcanine faints, I pretty much lose. The cool, the, the funny part about all this is that the first three gym, like, or the gym, the first, the first three of the Elite Four, all their Pokemons are between 40 and 45, so they, at least they're kind of consistent. Arcanine's gone, and then Fortress is a one-hit normally. It's Muck that I have an issue with, but Muck doesn't know a lot of moves. He, he knows Sludge Bomb and Toxic, but Toxic doesn't really affect Arcanine. So I'm just gonna... Yep, there you go. Now, I've learned that Extreme Speed can do real good damage to Muck. So, that's what I'm kind of hoping for. And Arcanine's physical attack is really good. If I could get Arcanine to level up two more times before the we face the champion, it might be GG at that point. So we're gonna be using Extreme Speed. And this wears Muck down all the way almost to, like, the red. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. I'm just actually stupid. So I've learned that Bite can do this. It doesn't It doesn't uh, miss that much. Oh, I gotta be careful here. Okay, um... So I had 79, right? So 42 that's that's what 37. I'm going to I'm going to be uh I'm going to be conservative with this. I I don't want like maybe he'll use 
Ouch. So does that actually do 37? Yeah, it does. That's fine. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and end it. Because I won't be using extreme speed probably that much. Crobat? Actually, yeah, I do want to switch out. I'm gonna give, uh... <sighs> now, Crobat might be Jolteon. Maybe. We're, we're gonna see if he does or not. Oh, shit! Jolteon just one-shotted Crobat. Damn, okay, that, that helps me out a lot, actually. Two grand, holy crap. I actually gave my two rare candies to Jolteon because Jolteon was 30, uh... was, uh... 38. Venomoth? Uh... Yes. I'm gonna go back to Arcanine. And then we're gonna use Amber because it's a bug Pokemon. Jolteon, one shot in Crobat. That came in clutch. Oh, GG. So this is good so far, but I don't want to jinx anything yet. So, the first Pokemon that, uh,. The first Pokemon we face from uh, from Bruno is Hitmontop, and I'm wondering, I don't really know how to fight Hitmontop. Ah, you have proven your, your worth. So, I need to figure out how I want to do this. Do I have any Pokemon that has any kind of flying move? Uh, I could send Gyarados. Out. Oh no, I, I kind of need to. I, ne I kind of need to keep Gyarados because Gyarados is probably going to be my sub in if I want to like heal. Well, actually, no, I have no revives, so I guess that doesn't matter. Um. Oh, Fire Punch. Hmm. Bone Ring is pretty strong. Uh, we'll keep Marowak here. Um. I, you know what? Let's just fight him with Arcanine, I guess. I always train to the extreme. Can we stand our power? Hmm, I see your fear here. Determination. I don't know how to fight him on top, so I'm just gonna... Do I have strength for Arcanine? I don't. I'll just hit him with... Extreme speed. See how much that does. Uh, apparently that just one shot him. Okay, sure. That's okay. Uh, we lucked out on that. Onyx. Uh, yes. So I'm going to send out Marowak for this one. I guess so. I don't know by how much. Yeah, that wasn't very much. Nice. Um, we could use. Oh wait, no. Uh, let's use Rock Smash. Earthquake doesn't really affect me that much.
gone. I wish Rock, I, Rock Smash just sounds like such a cool move, and then it's only, it only has like 35 attack power, and it's just like, what? Bruh.